Hello YouTube, it's Krosama, and here we have today from the Bring Art series is Sora from Kingdom Hearts 3. Now, I've been playing Kingdom Hearts 3 for, uh, I think I've probably put about 4 or 5 hours into it, maybe a, maybe a tad bit more, uh, but absolutely love it, and I do have this Keyblade, you kind of get it really early on in the game, and I can honestly say I love the aesthetics of the Shooting Star Keyblade. It's one of... Uh, possibly my favorite Keyblades in Kingdom Hearts 3. Uh, honestly, a lot of the other Keyblades are a little bit more lackluster, but this one I absolutely love. Uh, probably second is going to be the Olympus Key. I think that one's pretty damn cool. Uh, but what this has is a form change, and in the form change is going to have the double arrow gun. So basically the Keyblade changes forms, and you can use it in a more long distance uh, kind of you know style rather than the more melee style of the keyblade itself but regardless let's open this you know, little figure up and we'll take a look at the packaging and with this little figure out of the packaging it just looks super detailed and amazing uh, definitely captures a lot of the small details that the video game does actually emulate so I'm very much excited about you know kind of putting this on the shelf and just posing it in different various poses now also you will definitely see that this is very much uh, akin to the play arts Kai line uh, so this is essentially just a very shrunken down version of that line and a lot of those figures from there just Man, they range up to like hundreds of dollars. Uh, I only managed to grab one of them, which is the Sora uh, Tron version from Dream Drop Distance. But regardless, um, these things are, are pretty pretty expensive. Even, even these small ones going to cost you upwards to about 50 even to $100, depending on which version you get. So with talking about articulation, the head is going to be on a little ball joint right there. And then the neck can also basically move all the way around. The shoulder has multiple different points of movement so it can rotate a really good amount. Elbow and bicep can definitely move around as well giving you a pretty decent little elbow bend. Rotation at the wrist and there's going to be a little bit of peg and ball joint movement. Multiple segments at the waist is going to give it a large amount of movement. At the hips you can definitely get a split. Large range of movement as well. One angle movement at the knee. The ankle and the foot is also going to have a large amount of movement as well as an amazing, amazing little foot pivot. And he is going to come with a couple of faces, one being a just kind of like normal blank stare. And this more determined face stare. Now he is going to come with multiple hands such as the closed fists, these open hands, these trigger fingers that are actually made for the magic crossbow, and these gripping hands that are going to be made for the keyblade. And rolling into that, the Shooting Star Keyblade is going to be one magnificent looking accessory. So it is just no secret, I absolutely love this Keyblade and I think it looks super, super detailed and beautiful in plastic form. The sheer amount of detail that this overall figure is going to have with the Keyblade is nothing short of just astounding. You can easily recreate many of the same poses that you actually performed in the Kingdom Hearts game with this little tiny figure. And I'm just 1% positive, if you, get, you know, manage to get your hands on any kind of heartless little figurines, this is just gonna look super awesome battling all those little tiny heartless, uh, whether it is like the Neo heartless or even just the basic you know enemies. But regardless, this is looking super amazing with the Shooting Star Keyblade. And next is going to be the Magic Crossbows. So once again, you're going to have some pretty damn cool accessories to play around with. And with these crossbows equipped, you're definitely going to be able to perform a lot of amazing acrobatic little poses. And it's also going to be with the help of this beautiful stand that is basically shaped in the Kingdom Hearts. Uh, so overall, I do really like these different accessories. The Keyblade is probably going to be my more go-to. But these crossbows are definitely something to really look into if you want to do some uh, pretty, pretty awesome photography, to be honest. This is definitely a kit that is super, super aesthetically pleasing to the camera. And when you have the Play Arts Kai next to the Bring Arts, there's definitely a significant height difference and I just, I honestly love the Bring Arts style way more just due to the fact that it has that little bit, little bit extra detail compacted in a much smaller figurine plus it's a little bit easier to pose and kind of do more aerial poses unlike the Play Arts Kai. And what else can I say about this little figure? It's pretty much perfect. 
And to just summarize this overall review, once again, I'm just going to say it's a perfect figure. It's something that I really damn, I just enjoyed, you know, putting into different poses. And there's a lot of other poses I actually really enjoyed that did not feature in this video. But regardless, this is something that I think if you're a Kingdom Hearts fan, it's, it's an absolute must have. Even regardless, if it's a little bit of a pricey kind of figure, usually going around $50 to $55, it's still fantastic to look at. And if I had to give it any kind of negative points, it'll probably be about maybe the lack of facial expressions. I would definitely love to see Sora have more of a like battle cry screaming kind of face. Um, other than that, I really can't think of anything that's a pure negative. You really get everything you need. You get multiple different hands, you get, you get a really awesome keyblade, you get its form change, and maybe just one extra little you know facial express, uh, expression would have been really nice. Other than that guys, this is a really awesome figure and I definitely hope that some of you can actually pick it up if you are a Kingdom Hearts fan. If not, then you should probably get to playing at least, at least the first couple of Kingdom Hearts games. But other than that, I definitely appreciate all of you for watching and like always, please rate, comment, subscribe and you know, just let me know in the comments below if this is something you really want to pick up or not. Uh, also, what is your favorite Kingdom Hearts game? I'll tell you right now, Birth by Sleep is easily my favorite, um, definitely followed by 2, but 3 is kind of creeping up uh, to pass up 2, but I would say right now Kingdom Hearts 3 is probably my third favorite you know, Kingdom Hearts game. Uh, but other than that guys, thank you for watching and I'll be seeing y'all in the next video. Bye bye.